Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover percent of change, and we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now when we calculate percent of change, we take the amount of change, so the new number minus the old number, and divide by the old number. We then multiply that by 100 to convert that to a percent. So let's jump into number one where we have 50 to 34. So we start with a 50 and now we have a 34. So we had a decrease there. So keep that in mind as we go through our problem. So the first thing we need to do is calculate the amount of change. So the new number minus the old number will give us that. So the new number is 34 minus the old number of 50. So 34 minus 50 gives us a negative 16. Now that negative is important because it shows us that we have a decrease. Divide that by the old or original number of 50 and then multiply by 100 to convert that to a percent. It's very important to always divide by the old or original number because that's the number that changed. So we want the percentage change relative to the number we started with. We're looking at the percent that that number changed. All right, so negative 16 divided by 50 is going to give us a negative 32 hundredths. And then multiply that by 100 again to convert that decimal to a percent. So we can multiply that decimal by 100 by moving the decimal twice to the right. So 1 2. And we end up with a negative 32%. So we can express that answer in two ways. Just like what we wrote, negative 32%, and that negative shows us that we had a decrease, so this would be one way. Or we can write 32% and then the word decrease to show that we had a decrease. So 32% decrease or negative 32%. Now both of those represent that percent of change between the 50 and 34. They represent that decrease. Now remember, whenever you see a negative, that represents a decrease. Let's move on to number two, where we have 10 to 22. So we can see that we have an increase there. We started with a 10 and now we have a 22. So let's plug our numbers in and see exactly what the percent of change is. So the new number is 22. Subtract the old to get the amount of change. So we're going to get 22 minus 10 is 12. Divide by the old or original number of 10, and then multiply by 100 to convert that to a percent. 12 divided by 10 is going to give us 1 and 2 tenths, and then we multiply by 100 to convert it to a percent. So let's move the decimal twice to the right. 1, 2, and we can fill that gap with a zero there, so we end up with 120%, and that is positive, so we know it's an increase. So we had a 120% increase. Now remember, we can always tell if we have an increase or decrease based on positive and negative. A positive represents an increase, a negative represents a decrease. And we can always double check with the problem. So for example, number one, we started with a 50 and now we have a 34. So we decreased in value. So that's going to be a percentage decrease. Number two, we started with a 10 and now we have 22. So we increased in value and that's going to be a percentage increase. So I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.